Hi, you're watching Math Tutors. Show me how. We're your hosts, Kaylee and Erica. Today we're going to learn about algebraic properties in standard polynomial form. Our first contestant, Kelly Geezer, needs help with her math. What's up with your faces? What are you talking about, Kelly? Our faces are fine. Our next contestant, Mr. Fluffles, has fluff for brain, so he needs help too. To start off, Mr. Fluffles, do you know what algebraic properties are? No, I didn't think so. How about you, Kelly? Let's start with commutative properties. Commutative property. For any numbers, a plus b equals b plus a, or a times b equals b times a. This only works with addition and multiplication. Moving on to associative. Associative property. For any numbers, a plus b plus c equals a plus b plus c, or a times b times c equals a times b times c. This works for both addition and multiplication. Lastly, there's distributive. Distributive property. For any numbers, a times b plus c equals a times b plus a times c, and a times b minus c equals a times b minus a times c. This works for addition and subtraction. <laughs> Let's try it out. Solve this using commutative. Alright, Kelly, let's see your answer. Okay, Mr. Fluffles, show me your answer. Now solve this bad boy using associative. Your answer show me, Kelly, all right? <coughs> Mr. Fluffles, your answer show me. <coughs> Try this when you distribute distributive. Show me. To me, Mr. Fluffles, show your answer. Now we're going to learn about standard polynomial form. You have to arrange exponents, variables, and numbers from greatest to least. For example, take this problem. It looks fairly complicated, but if you use standard polynomial form, you'll see that it's really quite easy. First, you have to distribute 2 and 5 into the parentheses next to them. What you get is 2x squared plus 6x minus 2 plus 10 minus 15x cubed plus 5x squared. Now you have to combine like terms. 2x squared plus 5x squared gives you 7x squared, and negative 2 plus 10 gives you 8. So now your equation is 7x squared plus 6x plus 8 minus 15x cubed. Finally, you have to arrange all the exponents and variables in order from greatest to least. This gives you negative 15x cubed plus 7x squared plus 6x plus 8 as your final equation. Alright guys, now try out this problem and make sure to put it in standard polynomial form. First, I need to distribute. Then I need to use commutative property to flip what's in the parentheses to bring the x's together. Then I use associative property to bring the x's inside the parentheses together. Then simplify to add the x's to get my answer. So Kelly, would you like to enter a double or nothing challenge? Your opponent has no points currently, so 
you could win more points. But a bunny. Double. He hasn't done anything. Nothing. Really. Go for the double. Yeah! Your guys' double or nothing question is, what does E equal? good time watching math tutors the last episode you'll ever see i hate you guys <laughs> my day just keeps getting worse <laughs> but i certainly had a good time i'm out i'm Here out go! Oh my god! Too much fun on the camera, guys! <laughs> <laughs> 